Hey, my name is Audie Rakonovich. I'm a realtor with Likely Real Estate, and today I'm here at one of my listings in Tarpon Springs. We're about two days out from closing, and I'm here checking out some of the problems that came up during the inspection. So one of the issues was a four-point issue, and that's why we're up here in the attic looking at the air handler. And the problem was this condensate drain line. As you can see here, it's not connected, so we need to glue that back in. Let me explain why this is actually a pretty big deal and why it could really be a problem and why I'm out here fixing it myself is this condensate drain line can back up very, very easily. Now, here's how this works as far as uh, backing up. You take this out, and ideally, if you're a good homeowner, once a month, you'll come out here and drop a cup of vinegar down in here. That will eat away all the algae that builds up in this condensate drain line. And the reason that's important is because if too much water gets backed up into this system, this is one of the, one of the redundancies that air handlers have. You take this out, and this is a float see this here? Essentially, if this float comes up to here, it will shut off the air handler, which is, in the case of too much water, exactly what we want. Because it's essentially a dehumidifier that takes all the water out of the air, and uh, you, don't, you don't want too much of that because it's just not built to withstand that kind of uh, pressure. So, if, like I said, if the float gets too high, the air handler shuts off. We don't want that. We're going to fix the drain line. To, uh, glue it back together. We're gonna drop some vinegar down in here just to be safe for the new buyers. And ideally we close in two days with no hiccups.